Rina Nevada, 1959, university literature professor Vivian awaits the finalization of her divorce. A nervous academic, Vivian finds accommodation at France's ranch, where she meets Kay, a more confident and easier-going woman. As the friendship between both women grows, so do the romantic feelings for one another. Feelings which become complicated when Frances, the lover of Kay's deceased father, and now a maternal figure for Kay, as her own mother abandoned her, makes it clear that she does not accept Kay's own lesbian identity, let alone another woman falling in love with the daughter figure, who so reminds her of the love she herself has lost. This is Donna Deitch's Desert Hearts, an intimate and humanising portrayal of blooming lesbian love at a time when lesbian representation in cinema was rare, yet homophobia remained commonplace. Aiming to destigmatise and desensationalise gay love by presenting it via an empathetic and realistic narrative, done so by delivering detailed and thoughtful characterisation, where each action and line of dialogue is brimming with subtextual meaning. Desert Hearts, while exploring a touching tale of Vivian's own self-discovery, suggesting that it's never too late to find your truest self, manages to also be a social commentary and criticism on the normalised heterosexual expectations which reinforces patriarchal attitudes towards women. On its initial release, Desert Hearts was received with a mixed critical reception. Over time, the film has received critical re-evaluation and is often considered a classic of lesbian cinema, capturing lesbian romance for primarily lesbian audiences. In addition to this, the visual focus on desert landscapes and the intimate, subtle characterisation within the film continues to influence filmmakers following in the film's footsteps. Jane Campion's and Kelly Reichardt's filmographies certainly would not be the same without Desert Hearts. One of the significant details of Desert Hearts is its social commentary, dissecting the normalisation of heterosexual expectations, which reinforces homophobia and patriarchal attitudes towards women, the prying eyes of men watching as two women sit across from each other who have no interest in them, the forceful advances that assumes the target of those advances is either consenting or heterosexual, therefore limiting the joys of queer women and anybody else not fitting within heteronormativity. For for example, Frances places internalised patriarchal expectations on Kay because she views Kay as her connection towards Glenn, Kay's father and the man who Frances loved and continues to mourn. Frances expects Kay to avoid falling for other women and wants her to remain by her side, restricting Kay's own aspirations for a career in sculpting. Frances' expectations of Kay as a substitute for a deceased partner contributes to the internalised patriarchal restrictions that some women place upon themselves, a patriarchal influence which is criticised within the film, the restriction that a woman needs to be bound to a man during Kay's work hours at the casino, when she is sexually harassed by a handsy patron, when Vivian is held and kissed by a casino patron because of her winning streak, and when men across from Kay and Vivian buy them drinks in the bar, there are visual examples of unwanted male attention that contributes to the patriarchal expectations placed on women, becoming figures of unsolicited advances from a male-centric entitlement. It is clear that Desert Hearts wishes to make the viewer aware that the only purpose this patriarchal influence provides is to showcase a sense of entitlement which impinges on women's rights to be their truest self. Something that is illustrated when Frances's own dependency on Kay as a stand-in for Kay's father also reinforces Frances's own homophobia towards Kay's relationships and any women who fall in love with her due to Frances's own fears and insecurity of potentially losing Kay from her grasp. The heterosexual expectations, sometimes a fuel for homophobia, is also demonstrated brilliantly with the contrast of relationships between Kay and Vivian to Silver and Joe. Silver's work colleague and friend of Kay, who knows that Kay is a lesbian, offering advice to her that suggests she should always let her feelings be known before the opportunity passes her by. Silver and Joe are preparing for their wedding, in contrast to Kay, who is unsure how to approach Vivian about how she feels. At Silver's and Joe's engagement party, during a dance, Silver and Joe, the straight couple, are expected to dance together, but the gay women, Kay and Vivian, are made to dance with others. 
While Silver would no doubt have no issues with Kay dancing with any woman she wants, it's the expectations of others that places this wedge between Kay and Vivian. Kay dances with Francis, who is already intent on restricting who Kay connects with, reinforcing Kay as Francis's stand-in for her deceased lover Glenn, and Vivian dances with Walter, Francis's son, an expectation that because both Vivian and Walter are single and friendly towards each other, that there must be some romantic connection where there is none. Due to this expectation of heteronormativity, the opportunity for Kay and Vivian to dance together is often disrupted, stifling the chances Kay has to express her feelings towards Vivian until the two are finally alone and can share their first kiss. While Kay understands her feelings for Vivian, but is often challenged in when she can express them, for Vivian, there is a journey of self-discovery. The discovery that she finally has a side to herself she never realised when acknowledging her feelings towards Kay, also unlocking a more outgoing and sociable version of Vivian. This self-discovery is incredibly relatable for, most likely, any queer person coming to terms with their own identity and sexuality. It can be frightening at first, but with acceptance around you, it can unlock a newfound confidence and a new lease on life. As Desert Heart's book ends with the image of a train, an arrival and a departure, this summarises Vivian's journey of self-discovery wonderfully. While Vivian is still a formal intellectual out-of-towner she was during her arrival, due to her self-discovery she is now a more confident woman than ever before on her departure. It's the cherry on the sundae that Vivian's and Kay's romance doesn't need to end tragically, like so many other queer romances in cinema, as Kay joins Vivian in her departure, at the very least to the next station. In conclusion, Donna Deitch's Desert Hearts is a beautiful, intimate film that destigmatizes gay love, presenting humanizing and realistic portrayals of the gradual blooming of lesbian romance, which challenges not only the homophobia and heteronormativity within the film, but also the homophobia and heteronormativity during the film's release heartfelt and sincere in its exploration of underlying romantic tensions, and the eventual coming out for an introverted Vivian, which demonstrates that it is never too late to live as your true self. There's a reason why Desert Hearts continues to be celebrated as a classic of lesbian cinema. A special thank you to my incredible tier Patreon supporter Gil, and my super tier Patreon supporter Constantine Bombelli.